Sputnik in 1957 uh, scared the bejeebies out of the United States and created a whole set of activities uh, around uh, the space exploration, but also drove a lot of science and technology and caused uh, the United States to really rethink what it meant to, to do advanced technology development, advanced capabilities. You find the best jumpers. You, you attract the best people to the, the work. You protect the fragile and the fleeting, um, which means you've got to move fast. Uh, and often, having spent time in the government, spent time in the private sector, you, 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 there's always a tendency to slow down for whatever reason. And it's really important to move fast um, because teams go away, opportunities go away, people leave, and they're, they are a vital part of making things happen. And the third element, which is probably the hardest thing to do, is to challenge what's possible, the, the conventional viewpoint. And sometimes that's breaking people's rice bowls, sometimes that's uh, making people uncomfortable, so we tend to shy away from it. And organizationally, these three things are, are really important to do breakthrough innovations. It's actually not stock options and large salaries that attract the, the best jumpers. It doesn't hurt, but it, it's not what it takes to attract them. What it takes to attract them is give them an opportunity to do something really big and bold, to make a difference. Uh, I did a startup in fabulous semiconductors in Pittsburgh. I got some of the best people in the uh, semiconductor world to come to Pittsburgh. Not exactly a mecca for uh, semiconductor fabrication. Uh, but because it was an opportunity to do something different and make a difference in a fundamentally different way. Uh, I had a chance this last time at DARPA to talk to the director of DARPA at the time that stealth was being developed in the 70s. And you would think the Air Force would have been one of the biggest supporters of stealth technology. The United States Air Force actually tried to kill the uh, stealth program at DARPA. And I don't mean a mild bureaucratic kill. They went up to the hill and tried to zero the budgets and have the program managers removed from DARPA. Their worldview was you, have, you get air dominance through speed and maneuverability. For decades, they built faster airplanes, more maneuverable airplanes. And here's ding dong DARPA techno geeks coming along saying, I want to build an aircraft that's actually slower and less maneuverable. So they, they wanted to reject it. What they were not seeing, what they were blind to because of their worldview, was that you got this other kick ass capability called they can't see you, right? <laughs> uh, and, uh, but because they were focused on speed and maneuverability. Most people believe that you do basic science, and then you think about applied science, and then somehow it gets into commercialization and productization. And that is this kerchunking along. People think uh, a lot about technology roadmaps. If you're going to have a significant impact on the 32,000 people that are killed every year in accidents, it's not going to happen from a technology roadmap. That's my submission. Right, it's going to happen. If you want to do something that is going to make a significant impact on that, it's going to come through something that defies this process.